Hello and welcome to this video today guys. Today we're doing custom recipes. Yes, I'm making custom recipes for Minecraft Bedrock Edition 1.12 and above. Obviously, currently as of recording, we are still in a beta, but hopefully in the near future we won't be. And yes, everyone will be able to play with this. That's why I'm making these tutorials, to help you guys, as I've kind of learned it all from using Bridge, which is pretty cool. This is a program created by SolveDev. I've got links and everything in the description of the video as always. And yeah, anyway, let's get on with the actual tutorial here. So you wanna go up to file, hit new file, and go to this kind of like notepad-y kind of looking thing. And I've actually got a temporary um, like template behavior pack, because this is all it uses is behavior packs for recipes, okay? And I've got a custom crafting recipe for a dragon egg, and I've also made a rotten flesh to leather, cooking it in a furnace or a blast furnace. Done all this on here. I'm gonna just make a quick crafting recipe for a shulker shell, okay? Because we all know, oops, we all know you can't actually craft a shulker shell. You can only get it from killing them. So why not make one, right? So. First of all, we've got to the uh, fir uh, format version and we want to set that to 1.12, okay? Pretty straightforward here. See here it says Minecraft recipe shaped. If you don't want this, delete this. If you actually click down here, you can actually put recipe furnace. So that'll be anything that needs requires cooking for it to change to that recipe. Recipe shaped is for like crafting tables or a shaped recipe. That can even work in a 4x4 grid in your characters like crafting and shapeless means you don't need to put it in a certain like way you know for example the hoe for example you have to put the iron ingots or whatever on the right side you don't have to if you put shapeless you could put them on the bottom or one in the bottom left corner and one on the top right corner it will still work as long as the ingredients are in the actual grid okay but for this, we're gonna go for a recipe shape, that being um, a crafting table. So first of all, we wanna add a description of an identifier, and we're gonna just type in Minecraft shulker shell, like so. Okay, so that is just for the game to identify the actual recipe, okay? You can just type in whatever you want. If your map's called something else like banana bob, you could put banana bob, and then colons and then whatever you want the recipe to be. Same sort of thing, I'm using it for Sky Factory, I'm just naming everything Sky Factory instead of Minecraft. It's just to make it, you know, just don't get confused because I had it in the past, I was like working out, why are some of these recipes not working? You need to make sure you change this, otherwise the game will not pick it up, okay? So first of all, we're gonna start off with tags and this is representing what actually is you know the, the 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 actual block required to create this item for example so like i say we want the crafting table so there we go you can actually add more than one item bear that in mind you know so you can actually add like i've done with the lever you can add the furnace and the blast furnace because the blast furnace is quicker at smelting things down okay um, obviously, I'm not really supposed to be able to put food items in a blast furnace, but I can thanks to this, okay? So next, we want to actually work on the pattern, okay? So the way this works is zero is like one, two, three, that being the top left corner to the top right corner, and then this is the middle, and then this is the bottom left and right, okay? Hopefully that makes sense. Might do when I've actually done these. So for the pattern, you can use hashtag, you can use slash, you can use letters, you can use like capital letters. I believe you probably can use numbers, but I've never tried because there's enough numbers, uh, enough uh, letters and symbols to just get by. So for a shulker shell, we're gonna go ahead and we're actually gonna leave a space and then a hash, oops, and then a space, okay? Now, if I look at this like this, the space means that I'm only gonna put one item in the middle slot at the very top, okay? Bear that in mind, okay? Otherwise, it won't work. So this, we're gonna do hashtags. So then you kind of see, I'm kind of making like a, uh, 
across here. That's what I'm trying to go for. And like this. And again, space, hashtag, space, enter. Okay. And that should look like that. You're going to see it differently on the, uh, like my Sublime text editor on a JSON format. So that's pretty much that. Now we want to go to a uh, key and we've got space here, but we're going to leave that as blank. And we got the uh, hashtag. So we're going to actually make this into an item now. And let's just think about this a second. What could be cool? We, we'll just do ender pearls, shall we? So we go for ender pearls. So we're going to do five ender pearls and a cross, basically. And now data is obviously the value, data value. So if you put die and you put data and then you put number four, that will be lapis. If you put data number 15, that will be bone meal. That's what it's for. Different colors, different variations. Basically, the data value of items. Very, very simple stuff. But that is pretty much that. So as you can see, we've got a key now. We've got the pattern. And now all we need is the result. And that, like I said, as said at the start, needs to be a shulker show. And there we go. You can put a count if you want. So let's just try this for a laugh, shall we? We'll put a count of eight. So it's going to give me eight shulker shells for five ender pearls, basically. Pretty good deal. So we're going to hit save. And then we can go up here, open an explorer, go to recipes and copy this bad boy. Get rid of this, get rid of this, go onto the desktop, go in recipes and paste this in here. So just quickly, I've got a dragon egg here, as you can see, similar sort of format. This is what it looks like in the actual JSON format. But as you can see, I've got result here of a dragon egg and a feather. Yes, you can give yourself more than one item. Now this is really handy if you're using buckets of lava or water or bo bottles or potions or anything that you would like the player to get the item back. So like obviously if you use a bucket of water, you can get the bucket back as well as whatever item you've crafted. Very cool stuff, right? So obviously that's pretty good to know. Uh, leather, this is how you do like furnaces. Again, it's all possible in bridge, very simple stuff. Um, as you could see, I've put furnace and blast furnace for this. And I've just put Minecraft cooked flesh. And whenever I put a rotten flesh in, it's gonna give me some leather. So it's basically one for one, okay? So what I'm going to do is load up the game and just chuck this uh, file into my behavior packs and I shall catch you on the game. Right, let's test out these recipes, shall we? I've loaded up the game, create new, go to behavior packs, and this is what you should get if you download it. And obviously it is just a behavior pack, so there's no resource pack, okay? Turn off multiplayer because I'm obviously recording. Experimental features, yes. Activate cheats, yes. Mob spawning false because I don't want slimes to come and get me because they're noisy. <laughs> and that is pretty much it, my friends. So let's try and grab myself. Well, let's, let's just try and do this as fast as I can because obviously it's quite boring. So what do we need? A crafting table, a uh, furnace, a blast furnace. We need some fuel for that. So some coal would be nice. Um, some rotten flesh, right? Uh, an egg. Eight pieces of obsidian. Race against the clock here. Try to go as fast as I can, all right? I'm sorry. <laughs> and lastly, we just need some uh, ender pearls, right? For the shulker shells, five of them. Right, let's place all these down and see how this actually works. So let's start with the uh, furnaces. So let's split this down chuck in the fuel and split these down ah there we go as you can see it's working perfectly here so this should be cooked down to a lever and they're both working for it so as you can see the blast furnace is obviously cooking it up quicker and i'm getting lever so all in all that's working perfectly next we need to craft some shulker shells right <laughs> oh, that is such a good trade-off man eight shulker shells for you know, five ender pearls is pretty crazy, right? And an egg, and this should be wrapped up, and it should give me a dragon egg and a feather. Perfect. Now, I don't know how many items you can have. I would imagine nine would be your limit because, obviously, 
it would just start filling up these slots once you've crafted it. But guys, that is pretty much it. Very simple stuff. And obviously, this works with custom blocks and custom items as well. I'm Darren Ross Probs. Thanks very much for watching. Bye!